Hello everybody, welcome to the video tutorial portion of our privacy-centric deep learning in PyTorch exercise. First and foremost, you'll want to have the blog up and handy as it does contain all of the useful scripts and commands you'll need for this exercise. You can find a link for that in the description down below. We prefer to use Docker as this does contain a lot of scripts and a lot of libraries that we do not want to corrupt your main system. So go ahead and launch the Docker environment, the Anaconda Docker environment that is. Okay, now that we're in the Anaconda Docker container, let's look at the directory structure. You'll want to navigate to the Demo2 folder in the container, list it out, and you can see that it's empty. Next, what you're going to want to do is find the script that you downloaded from the link in the blog and place it into the Demo folder on your system, which also corresponds to the Demo2 folder in the Docker container. Now when I list it, list the files in the container, you can see the script. Next, we'll actually go ahead and execute the script and launch the training environment. Note that this does take quite some time, depending on your system and depending on the connection speed. So, you can just go ahead and plug this command here and it will launch the script. Okay, now I hope you enjoyed that little bit of music. So what we've demonstrated is that it's entirely possible to preserve the privacy and security of both models and data using reservoir computing. Now this is a very small example, and currently this is an active area of research. For example, the training data set that we used is only 12 bits of data, including the target values, which is absolutely minuscule compared to the modern deep learning tasks, which deal with massive data sets and the hundreds of gigabytes. So, Let's say you make some modifications to the code and you want to execute it again. What you first need to do is enter the conda environment for PySift. So conda activate PySift underscore demo. Let's list out our files here and we see the encrypted underscore reservoir underscore PySift underscore demo. Let's say we've modified it and add some different, different tasks or different things. So now that we have it here, we can go ahead and execute this script again. And it should start launching the training environment. There it goes. And that's about it. We certainly hope you've found this helpful and interesting. Please visit our blog and subscribe for more updates. Thank you very much.